Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, Session 64, Part 2, Special Edition. It is the 17th of August, 2020. I am Ryan, the GM. Don't ask why it's Special Edition, and here are the players. Oh, I was going to ask. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> hi, I'm Alex. I play Weird, the Android Mechanic, and I'll be bringing the special. And hello, I am Nico, and I'm playing Zora, the best captain, and I'll probably do nothing special. You broke Hello. the door. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's no special, right? I break lots of doors. It's kind of a shame. Aye. Call him. Clear. Of light cooking. I'm probably gonna shoot quite a lot of bullets into someone. He's probably shouting now. <laughs> yeah. Don't we say he's somewhere between Shatner and Walken? <laughs> yeah. Oh, does that mean my walking? Um, <laughs> walking. <laughs> and uh, oh, walking. Uh, <laughs> or anyone who's just joining us, uh, Zeg won't be joining us uh, ever because he's dead. Yeah, he's too busy hexing the moon. <laughs> see, go. Right, see, see to be fair, right? Out of all the people that would hex the moon in this group, it would be Zig. Oh yeah. Moon started up yeah. Because he is a strong supporter of the sun. Mm -hmm. And therein lies all of the comments I wish to make about that. Um, okay, cool. I'm a sun abolitionist. I don't... I mean. I, no, Colin. No. Um, What's the sun have you done for us? Right, meanwhile. <laughs> About as much as the Romans, am I right? Yeah. Oh, dear God. Why, why are you like this? <laughs> Uh, leave me with us. <laughs> I've done nothing. They start, yeah. Probably some sort of issue with socialising. Don't uh, make me turn. Don't make me turn this RP around. Um, you can't at this. How stage. would you know if you were doing that? Right? <laughs> I think I've been doing it every week, and you just haven't noticed. I think that's the problem. Uh, but yeah. Nice. Anyway, speaking of things that we all love. Just do this baby in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking as a mother. Yeah, speaking as a mother. A mother of chaos. Weird. You stepped yes. forward. And then you looked Punch up him. all those rules. A punch can. Okay. Do it. Can I? I can full attack with a punch, can't I? Probably. But that takes up my move action, doesn't it? It takes up all your actions. Yep. So if, I, if, if you've moved, so I, you can't do I, that I, then? I can't do it. Yep. Nope. You can't full action. 15 to punch. Nice. Really bad. Uh, that'll be KC and that is a miss. Yep. So, I think it's just that you punch into like the guy obviously right in front of you's like shoulder and like you connect, right? But like there's no... the force doesn't really seem to do much to it, right? Like the thing just like recoils back. Oh, it's a Right? So like it just kind of like... Okay, chap on. <laughs> Don't, don't get as unsued through Legends canon, right? Um, but yeah, I think it's like, it just seems to like move with the force, right? Of the punch. As opposed to like try and react to it. That wasn't expected. Yeah. I have great stories about Legends canon, but I'll talk about that later. Okay, cool. I look forward to it. <clears throat> or we just roll up Star Wars characters now. I mean, I'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty open to anything right now. Quite well, this has been. <laughs> there's, there's a great bit in one of the non-canon Buffy comics. No, it's an Angel one. Sorry, for Spike. Uh, more more uh, of the uh, the Smile Time mm -hmm. um, Muppets, and uh, they shoot him with a rocket launcher called the Smile Time Official Cannon. I like it. And uh, and he responds after getting nearly blown up with, I hate official cannon. Mm. I just love that. It's I good. love it so much. It's, it's dumb, but it's, it's good. It's terrible, but I just enjoy it. It's so comic books. And I, I love <laughs> comic books. So, weird. Anything yeah. else that you can do in your turn? No, I have no swift actions. Okay. So. Zara. Well, I think I'm in danger now. Uh, yeah, I think so. Like, right, like, I think you've got reasonable, 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 reasonable. Don't be in danger. Let's let's uh, 
Let's grab a ton of tune this time, shall we? That oh, makes sense. Ho, ho. We're yes. throwing this baby in reverse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Stella mode, yada yada. <laughs> and then. Zara do... Digivolve to Graviton! Hey, man. I'd do a defensive step back. Oh, a guarded step, you see? A Oof. guarded step, yes, it's the first guarded step of. Maybe? No, it's not. <laughs> it's like turn one. Uh, <laughs> and, yep. and then I'm just going to show him. Because how dare he? How very dare he? <laughs> sure, yeah. I like it. Like. like Nerve, quite frankly, the rest mm. man. I know, he needs help though. No, I'm shooting the guy on the left. Okay, cool. Uh, this will be Eak, right? Yeah. That's a hit of Eak. Lo and behold. Uh, how weird is it to actually hit stuff as well, right? I'm impressed. Yeah. Yeah. That's no shade, that's just genuine. That stuff found a lot, right? <laughs> Yeah, stuff on the does not play is doing things sometimes. No, it really doesn't, right? Like, and if you're gonna do it, why aren't you rolling culture to do it, right? So I think maybe you just all combat should be done with culture. Oh, uh, the nonsense. Uh, yeah, Hopefully cool. This guy doesn't have like stretchy arms to <laughs> yak. Wouldn't that be fantastic? <laughs> I mean, ah. <laughs> oh dear. Um, right, okay. Cool. Uh, so at this point, you hear over the comms, Isabel. Uh, didn't I say that again? Uh, what, what was it? I mean everything so about the. I mean everything you guys have said about the fact that there are bodies and you know, the oh, yeah, the disturbing yeah. state of affairs. Got an undead situation here. Uh, yeah. Not like her. I knew he was going to say that. I just want to clarify. You just hear a. <sighs> Do you need backup? No. Uh, everything's fine here for now. Watch yep. like 20 guys walk in the door. Because. <laughs> 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 Let's keep open comms then, yeah. Let's keep these open, shall we? I'll, I'll monitor from here. You, you, just, you, you just hear like the cocking of her gun over the comms. And, uh, Lyco. Sure go, buddy. Uh, so, this one, right? Right, yeah, mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's just been shot by the cap. Mm hmm. How bad does it look? Does it look pretty bad? Does um, it look like it's more bad than before? It, now it looks like it's been shot. Yeah. But it did. It didn't before. But now it does. Mm, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to full attack, and this may not work because I now have triple attack. Um, but we'll see. Uh, it did not work. Uh, I'm just going to roll another attack normally. Right. And we can... Oh, here's the other thing. Okay, so that 30 is a 31, because I take a minus 3 rather than a minus 4. That 14 is a 15. And uh, we will also need to do another wee quick roll. Um, Are you sure? Because if it's three attacks we're doing, is that just your secret version of a full attack? Uh, that's that's yeah, my yeah. full attack, yeah. It's still not brave. Okay, I just mean no, but but, so it, yeah. but is there a difference between you doing a two attack full attack or a three attack full attack? There's no difference. Just after level eight, I do three attacks. Okay, two. cool, perfect. So the the, um, the minus doesn't change, is what you're saying. The minus doesn't change, but I get minus three because I'm using two of the same yep. weapon. Cool. Uh, because of my tr my, my treat, my feet rather. Your, your old uh, man so guns, guns. Yeah. Um, I will use my other roll as not a full attack, but that will be a minus three, so it's a twenty-five. Okay. So thirty, fifteen, and twenty. Thirty-one, fifteen, and these 25. are all KAC, right? Yes. Okay, let's have a look. So two hits and a miss. So is the damage right for all of them? The damage looks to be 
Eight, so that uh, is. Yeah, that looks right. So that'd be 24 damage if we're ignoring the, the 14 that obviously didn't hit. Yeah. So 24 damage. Okay, yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's looking good. And, uh, full attack, so that's my turn. Yeah. Look at that, look at you hitting things. What is this? Doing my ammo. Madness. Madness. Um. Yeah. So, you just start, like, shooting away into these guys. What bam. Alright, so this is, this is the red one. Okay, cool. And... I think it just looks at a... Obviously, our big boy here. And... It's probably just going to do a full attack, because... We're bam. This is against weird. Because he's crazy. It's probably he's going ka-ching, ka-ching. <laughs> With that exact accent as well. <laughs> Swinging a bee going ka-ching. <laughs> I'm going to assume those miss. By quite some margin, yes. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not like it's, you know, pawing against a fucking steel wall of a man, is it? That's <laughs> 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 all. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so this one, uh, the one next to it now, looks at the fact that it's been, like, shot in the shoulder by the captain, and then, like, in the chest it's got, like, you know, more bullet holes. And it kind of just, like, looks down at it. And you see, like, it kind of, like, almost... Like, as if stuff under the skin starts to like vibrate, or it just looks up at you, Lyco. Okay. Um, and it uh, casts gun. <laughs> 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 and, uh, <laughs> I was I wanted to say that, and I did. I'm a fool. Um. So right, wait, let me just check. This would be EAC. EAC. Yuck. Yeah. I'm going to send the 10 misses, I hope. They both miss. Okay, cool. 27. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, that's... Uh, <sighs> if you boy since last time. I think the first, ta the first attack at least, like, scratches across the armour or something. Oh yeah. You know? I think it's just because, like, it, you know, it's almost like it just mimics you, right? And it just pulls a gun out and goes bang, bang in the first hits. And obviously maybe as you recoil from the first one, like, holy crap, that thing has a gun now. And then the next one misses because of it. So it's probably double tapped, and that's why you've reacted to it and it's missed. Uh, but that was, a, that, that was a full action as well, so oofed. Actually, I was reading an article, a, sorry, a YouTube video. I was watching that, and the guy was talking about different combat systems and different RPs and seeing how, out of all the ones he's played, Fifth Head's the most boring. And I was like, mm. you know, I agree, because I think if Starfinder was slightly streamlined, I like things like the full attack mechanics and like the guarded steps and stuff. I don't like the if you move like every five feet you get potential attack, but then maybe I do like that. Like I'm really on the fence with that one because it feels right that every time you try to move you're distracted, so I don't know. It's an interesting one, but I definitely think it's I a... I get out of that now, by the way. <laughs> but like it is, it's a bit more, like I think like, it's a lot more dynamic I think than, you know, it does, make it, also, it does make it feel, feel quite special as an operative to just like know that because I've taken a couple of operative exploits, mm -hmm. that rule, unless I'm shooting people, uh, and even then if I'm shooting people after I move or using my trick attack, it doesn't yeah. apply. So unless I'm standing right next to someone shooting them, I'm basically past having to worry about those, but and it does feel kind of cool and special. That there that you've just described is what Paizo are good at. See when you have a build? for your character because of the customization, and you get to edit out the rules you don't like being subjected to, it is quite cool. I like... I'll give them their due for that. Like, Paizo has done well at that side of gaming, where they can go, what part of the rules in combat don't you want to deal with? Build your character that way. Edit out the parts you don't like. Because um, you can. It just You have to kind of pick and choose what so you want to build. build your character around poison? Um, um, I'd hope so. Uh, just immunity to poison. Just paste over the rules. Uh, but weird, sorry. It's your go, buddy. I punch. The one next to you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This time it's going to be full of tank. Well, bam. 26. Oof. Oh, 
quite big again. Uh, yeah, no, the 26 does, yeah. So it is... Uh, 16 punch. Yeah, it is. So yeah, I think this time you've realised, you know, how the thing moves, so you just probably gut punch the thing. Oh, oh. Maybe the first punch is to try and, like, fake out the the movement, so oh, that... Yeah. what Yeah, and, like, when it, like, trying to, like, you know, it moves back with the left and forward with the right, you just lean in with the, the right. Makes sense. Uh, Zora. It, this is another thing I like about full attacks. How quick a round can go. Yeah. It's, it's great. Okay, okay, okay. So, two, three, grab. Okay. okay. Uh, You'd burn through things that last like 10 rounds, though, right? You'd burn through those abilities way quicker in the okay. Paizo than you will with a 5e. 5e's uh, combat is slow. <laughs> yeah, just. I'll just shoot again. I'll probably just shoot again. No need for fancies here. I will shoot the man in front of me. And I'll do a full attack. Because why not? Why not, yeah. Uh, I am correct. Let's see. No, no, wait. It's just for. It's cool. Just a full attack. Attack. This is when I miss. Everything. Probably. Yes. Full attack. One the left again. Miss, miss. Probably. It is. Yeah. So yeah, the thing just seems to be a bit more like agile now, right? It seems to be moving more dynamically. I like oh. Okay. You've noticed these things seem to move more like you now. Uh, um. You know what? Before I open fire again, um, I'm gonna say. If you want help, this isn't the way to get it. And you just hear the raspy voice back saying, Help! And then the other one next to it just kind of like, just says the same, Help! Yeah, okay, I just unload with both guns into the same one again. Okay. Um, so, let me just get that. We'll roll the non-full attack first. Because obviously... It doesn't know that I have three attacks. Uh, so that's the basic one. So that's 12. So that's a mess. Mm -hmm. um, and. Is that yes. Oh my. 12 yep. again. Um, and uh, 15. Yep, all misses, buddy. Oh. Grim. Yeah. That sucks, man. Man, man, man. Sometimes, sometimes it don't go right for me. Opposition okay, well. is pointless, is not what they say. <laughs> right. So yeah, one in front of a weird goes goes ham. Wabam, ham wabam. It does. It misses both, right? Yeah. So that's your, your KC is what was it? Or something ridiculous? Twenty nine. Yeah, it, it, it's and probably. I can increase it if I want to. Yeah, it's probably not going to do much to you, to be honest. Uh, also, I've got a shield up because I've got an AI controlled computer now that is connected to my shield. I see. That triggers on an effect. Actually, no, that one hasn't triggered. So that no one no shield yet. It's going to take damage. Okay, so no shield yet. There's not really a point, is there? No, not really. Um, but when I take damage, your shield automatically pops up. Cool. Um, that isn't my main shield. And the next one? Yeah, I figured that. I figured you've still got your fucking backup generator. <laughs> this is against Lyco. Shields for days. 26 hit you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yep. There we go. Still, that, that one again. That one's like, that's a decent hit, but mm. just not in a weak part of the armor. Yeah, and I think um, I think this one because the first attack misses. I think what it's doing is it's doing what it did the last time in reverse, right? Where the first time it shot you and then it shot again and you dodged because of the first impact. Now it's shooting to make you move and shooting where yeah. you're moving to. Um, so it's as if it's trying to adapt. Uh, weird. Shoot again, buddy. Already. I know, right? How how quick is combat when you're full attacking every round? Uh, I'm gonna every turn even. Punch him because yeah. I'm pretty sure my punching is better than most melee weapons I can get. Probably. <laughs> yeah. 22, 21. 
A, a hit and a miss. In fact, no, 22, 21, both hits. Yep, both for hits. 22 damage each. Yep, that's tasty. 44 damage, damn. Nice. Yeah, that, that looks like it definitely whacked it a good a good one. That's a technical term, isn't it? Whacked it a good one. Whacked yep. it a good one. Mm. Exactly. tactical terminology. Yeah, you know it. You know it. So yeah, it definitely looks like it, you know, you're breaking things that shouldn't be broken and tearing things that shouldn't be torn just from punching <laughs> because you're a big, large man in a suit. It's what I do now. Mm -hmm. Right. Zara. Zara, Zara. Uh, am I right in saying that a 10 foot radius from here would only hit me? No. And these two zombies, obviously. So, point to where you want it to go. So, the, like. Uh, so, uh, what does the ability say? Because the targeting might need to be on a corner of a square. That's a good question. I will click it. Because, like. Okay. Where is it? Yeah, somewhere. What's the move called? We'll just look it up. Constellation Blast. Okay. It does sound cool to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Zora, Zoramon used Constellation Blast. Ten three foot radius boss from sixty feet of each. No other than that must be centered no more than 15 feet from the center of one other radius. It doesn't say anywhere, but I don't know. Because there's a thing in Starfinder has like giant yeah, I like I inter intersection really rules. Yeah, let's have a quick really noise at that. Really let's. Okay, okay, so plus I think you just have to have it where they're all within like the centers are all 15 feet apart. Is that what it says? Like a chain almost? Um, that's not that hard to, to manage, but let's see. Tactical rules. Is that even going to be? It's probably going to say look at poison. Um, tactical rules, targeting, combat mod, injury and death. Let's have a look. I think I was actually better off using just trick attack for my shots. Yeah? Mm. Because I, I get plus 5d8 if it succeeds now. Oh. So. Which is crazy! <laughs> so it talks about throwing weapons target the intersection. Yeah, well it says target is a square, target is a grid intersection, because it still like implies yeah. both can be. Um, yeah, so grenades target an intersection. Throwing weapons with an area of effect target intersection. Okay. What sort of thing is this? This is like a fucking magic power base, like a supernatural ability, right? Um, I really just. Where was that from? Is that from the core book, buddy? Yes. No, that's uh, character box, I think. Right, because we might need to read the actual thing, right? The um, because I want to like we might need to read the targeting from the. The print. Eight four. Enter. Let me see if that is constellation blast. Good old Starfinder. Yes, as as page eighty seven. Uh, I've not even got the PDF yeah, open. I am quite a while away from that, so. I can just copy past other. Please do. If, that would be great. Thank you. Cool. I found it now. But yeah. <laughs> Don't retract. Not control I think I did just copy and paste the whole text from it into the ability. So. Uh, I guess maybe it'll be about your. There must be something about targeting, right? Because it's one of those things that two things exist. So why yeah. hasn't it told us what they are? Um, also, what page, what page number did you say? Eighty four. Yes. Did I say eighty four? You did say it before, I think. Uh, it's not 87. Okay. I was like, a good, because I wasn't seeing it. I was like, have I gone blind? Okay. I think I probably said 84, because it's been Solarian starts in it. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Must be centered no more than blah, 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 blah. 
You click save. I mean, I guess it's just not an intersection if it doesn't say, right? I guess it's not. It's weird. I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't care. So, um, right, let's get a token for this then. Okay, so. Two seconds. Where are we here? Right, so we've got. You want it to be there, right? Yep. yep. Yeah. And it's a 10 foot radius. Yep. So. That, see, that seems bigger than the 10 foot radius. No, that's right. So that would be every day. <laughs> so as everybody? Well, that, I don't even see it. Ah, right, sorry. That, that would make sense. I've, I was being very special. I didn't do that. Which should. There you go. Right, so it's 10 feet. Away. So that's everybody. Okay. Maybe we don't want to do that. Clarification. Mm -hmm. Fun. I will shoot the man. Can you see how, <laughs> though, can you see how, though, if that was an intersection, though, it would have been, like, very different, right? Because the point in the middle would be there, so it would be everything that is fully coloured in square-wise, like, um, I don't know if I can change that to be a drawing, maybe? Let's see, advanced, make a drawing, and then shrink down. Can you see how if it was an intersection, it's a lot more controlled? Yeah, yeah. So, sure. bizarre, right? But... So, now that that's clarified, let's just shoot the man. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll put this to the side. Well, that's just disgusting ability, holy shit man, that's yep. a lot of area. Mm -hmm. um, I've not done anything, I just thought that I'm just going to normal attack this time because... Yeah, the only thing you've done is to do, do your normal, like you've you've attuned, right? So you're you're a different level of something, so... What you uh, I'll just shoot him one. I'll just shoot the man two. Oh wait, I'm at three of three. I'm at three of three now, sorry. I will. Man. Good man. Three slash three. And I will shoot the man. Cool. Shoot him. Where is my clicky clicks? Web am. Seven rifle clock. <coughs> Just a standard attack. Just okay. a normal. Everyday standard. Uh, page, yak. page 268 on the main rule book. Uh, the point of origin of an effect is always a grid intersection. The point of origin of an effect is always a grid intersection. Okay. Yeah. So it's yeah. always a grid intersection. Alright, yeah. so it would have been the slightly more controlled one then. Okay. okay. I can move, right, how far would I need to, let's discuss strategy. How far would I need to move for it not to be hitting me? One step back, basically. For you. I can move one step back as parametric attack. Um, so... Don't worry about moving, no, because it means we would have to take damage moving away and shit like that. We'll just shoot you, shoot you. Okay. Well, I'm going to trick attack anyway, so I'm just doing it anyway. So, yeah, like, in the hypothetical that this is, the only grid intersections you can see are, like, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So, yeah, one back is what you'd need to be. And two back is what a weird one to right. uh, It depends where he puts it out of those. Yeah. But yeah, like. I'll put it behind the wall because it bobs through today and I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, you can't see these great yeah, intersections. I, know, I can't see it. I quite can't see it, though. Yeah. Sadly. Um, yeah, if I was to do anything. To yeah, to I was gonna say it would, it would, it would need to be there for you not to take it unless you moved back and did it. Um, oh, I was going to take it myself. I would right, be okay. resist every bit of damage that would be. Like. Okay. In that case, it would be the equivalent there. So we'll move this to the side for now, and we'll keep a hold of it. Um, cool. So we've got that. But that's good to know about the intersections because I knew there was something about that 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 bugged me. Um, they just don't put it anywhere sensible. No, of course not. Why would these? You know, probably not a million miles away from the poison rules. Right, so... Actually, it, it's under defining effects. 
mm. which is where they've got all of the weird which obviously I can understand why they would do that but it's just not organic it's very like what a, where a robot would put it <laughs> yeah subsection D you know thanks data um, he's got bark in the poison rules it probably isn't though also sorry buddy there's 19 doesn't hit okay uh, and I will screw it guardian step backwards words. I don't have to guard this step but screw it why not You're right yeah let's Stomach. be crazy do, do 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 you say anything to your companions like step back companions I'm about to nuke them. Uh, I mean, nah, because I don't want we have to take attacks of opportunity, so we're good. We're good. Okay. It doesn't like root minds personally, but I mean, I can take the guard a step to the right. True. True. It's just a step. But to the like, right. keep in mind, I. Uh, won't let metagaming happen, which means like I would have no real reason to step back knowing you're about to try and burn them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got to say that if it's so. Yeah, cool, cool. Go. Cool, like go. You're a go, buddy. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, without any reason to move back, I won't. I'll just use my trick attack. Um, so. <laughs> I want to Break free. use my trick attack with my sense motive, mm -hmm. uh, and this is a plus four that's not coded in because it's my uh, uh, my what's it called? That's fine. It's associated with my detective mm -hmm. thing, anyway. Uh, so my check is a twenty-one contested against twenty plus the target's combat rate or whatever it is difficulty thing CR. Okay, so the DC is what? DC is 20 plus your target CR. No, no, you. Like, like what was your final total, sorry? Oh, right, uh, it's plus 4 to that, 31. 31. Mm -hmm. Just because you told me it was like a lower number two moments ago, that was all. No, I said it's plus 4. Yeah, but then you told me it was like 20. Then you told me it was 20. No, that's, I'm reading it, that's what right, I'm cool. targeting. Right, cool. I'm targeting 20 plus target CR. Cool. No, I got that part, but before that you told me, that, like, so that's 23, is what you said, I'm sure. We'll check. Well, we'll, 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 we will um, checkpoint this here, and I will definitely go listen. Have done, but I don't think it's either that or I have totally misheard it. Who knows? But either way, so I'm. Uh, yeah, so it's a thirty-one. Um, thirty-one to beat whatever twenty plus its CR is. Uh, yeah, you beat it. Okay. Uh, so I will roll my attack. Uh, I still have to hit annoyingly. And that makes sense. Okay, I hit. Um, I, I know a hit because that mm -hmm. hit before. Yeah. Um, on Lauren wrote, so I now uh, do plus five d eight damage. So just the seven uh, plus five d eight. Yeah. So you can do that from the roller at the side if you want. Where? What? There's the dice roller at the side of the screen, the left. Highlight the d twenty, oh. and then you can just oh. go down to d eight and then move over to five and click it. That's, oh. that's always been there. I completely forgot that existed. Yeah, it's really handy. It's um, beautiful. Yeah, I really like it. Um, it, it is nice. Uh, I, I forgot that existed. Guys, I'll be <laughs> honest with you. Um, to be fair though, it's because Roll20 sometimes spoils you with working sheets, sometimes. Yeah, so I don't know how exactly I use Slate of Hand to do that, but that's a pretty good shot. It's just your jazz hand up in the air and then you shoot from the hip. That's obviously what happens. I, 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 I honestly I think I probably do something like very ostentatiously point the gun at it and then shoot it with the other. <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah, like I mean that's that's one of those things you get to have a bit of fun with, right, narratively. Uh so what we're looking at is that twenty four? Uh seventeen foot yeah. Okay. Mm so nice. that was as effective as full, and it's also flat footed now. Well, the thing is, I didn't use any more alter yeah, because I didn't use any more alternate debilitating version. In Two. fact, I think I only get one version because I didn't talent it. So. Mm -hmm. mm, look at you oh, with okay. your effects. Flat footed. I'm gonna have to actually look at that again. I can turn it. I could also turn it off target instead, but I can't remember for the life of me what off target does. And I think flat footed is so, like. Um, 
I'll, I'll tell you both, right? So flat-footed is to take a minus two penalty AC and cannot take reactions, right? And off-target is you take a minus two penalty attack rolls. Both very good. Mm -hmm. Both very good. So if something's good at hitting you guys, you'd take the minus two off attack off rolls. Target, but if yeah. you're struggling to hit them, you'd do flat-footed. Also, the lack of reactions, yeah, potentially mm -hmm. could save you from taking damage as yeah, well. If you, so yeah, if you trick attack somebody and let somebody just, like step away, yeah, it's good. So yeah, that's very nice. Uh, trick attack is so strong. <laughs> Honestly, not, it, it, to be honest though, it's the real strength behind an operative, I think. Um, mm -hmm. It really is, because it's basically where your control comes from. Um, it's like you, you can fuck up, but you still get an attack. Mm -hmm. um, and that alone is really nice. Also, the wording is like such that I feel think it flat foots them even if it didn't be, like it didn't hit because it's the flat footing is based on the check succeeding rather than the attack succeeding so I'm not sure I'll need to check that I don't know I think we've read this ability a million times and we've interpreted it a different way every time but <laughs> yeah. yeah it's one of those things right so this thing in front of me is flat footed let is fine let's just give it the boot even though I used that for being prone but I don't have another one for flat footed. I can see that makes more sense, so that'll do for now. Uh, how how long is it flat footed for? <laughs> that is a good question. Um, I don't think it says. It doesn't say right. Up 200 miles, there we go. What? <laughs> yup. So. <laughs> me. Let's have a go at this, shall we? We know what's coming. It's gonna shoot. Nah, it's gonna go full attack against a... Uh, weird. Oh yeah, it's that one. Nope. Then... No, that one. So it can't do reaction, but it doesn't affect anything else it is doing. Uh, I'm gonna assume that flat-footed doesn't stop you doing full attacks, because it's reactions and... Uh, it shouldn't stop you doing it, no. no. Yeah, because it's only like your move, quick action, and standard that kind of gets absorbed by that, so... Uh, oh, that's the wrong button. Cancel that, please, and push the right button. So, it does the same thing, where it just points the gun at you, but then shoots with the same gun. Because it only has one. And uh, yeah. They both miss. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, and then it's Groot's okay. turn. Or Bam. How bad does the one look in front of me look? Uh, they, they, they both don't look great, to be honest. Okay. Like, yeah. I'm going to single punch the one in front of me. Okay. I hope she's knocking out with that. That will not do it. Nah, it does not. I have misjudged my situation. Mm-hmm. Um, he says aloud. It's just that this is the first fist fight you've been in with four fists. Yeah. All of them yours. Uh, <laughs> excellent. In that case, uh, I will calibrate my defenses. As cool. move action, I analyze weapon attack patterns of one enemy you can see. Okay. So that one that's been attacking me, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. will calibrate my defense against him. Okay. So I now have plus two AC against him. Nice. I like it. That's quite cool. Can you paste that in somewhere? Just so it's checkpointed in the log. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Safe. Uh, right. Zora. Uh, there seems to be like a John Wick gunfight going on between. <laughs> Next to a hot fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't really see it in any threat and fancy here. I'll just show him. Okay. Hello, bud. Garden. <laughs> oh. And bang. Probably a miss again. Yep. Mm hmm. Well, off those miss. The little is Missy's one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, I'll. Shake a fist from a move action and we're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you, gadget. <laughs> Lego. Okay. Um. Maybe Zig was the one that was slowing us down. 
I mean, yes. Uh, <laughs> wow. He does look up with radiation rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a spellcaster, right? So of course he is. Also, uh, Callum, you are precious. Don't listen to their lies. I am a spellcaster. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. I mean... Um... <laughs> You cast spellcasters, maybe. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna... I'm just, you know what? Well, uh, I don't see any reason to do anything differently, right? Okay. I think that was very effective. Mm -hmm. Play a hand once again. <laughs> you mean sense motive, but yeah, okay. Sense motive, uh... Yeah, I can use sense motive instead of slay a hand, yeah. Um, did I use sense motive before? It doesn't really matter. I don't yes. even like. Yeah, you've just been saying uh, sleight of hand, but we've you know. I keep confusing this. I don't know why. Sense motive, sleight of hand, is not one of the ones for me, unless okay. it is because it's one of the default ones. It isn't. Fantastic. What the fuck's happening? Why is there noise? Are you breaking? Hi. So, what's up? Everybody okay? Right. We're all, we're um, still here. Yes. Good. I heard noises from Discord. I was confused and startled. Okay. Um, yes. So. Plus four, so that is uh, thirty-two, and I will make an attack roll. Which again, there's always the possibility this won't fucking work, and it's against the same one, by the way. Um, so that looks like it's a hit. So the uh, let's have a look. Uh, the sense motor thing works, and the Hit is a hit, well enough, if that is a 27. Yep. yep, and we go now to the 5d8, so 27 damage. Uh, you'll be pleased to know, that's the exact number you needed. Hey, I, I, I think I shot it right in the head. <laughs> like the exact number you needed. Um, so I think um, as you shoot it, it like falls. Uh, to the ground, it just kind of raspily says, HELP! as it falls to the ground. I think like we just sort of says, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> and then this turn ends. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, that thing looks next to it, at the the fallen one, and it uh, uh, just has a think to itself, and then pulls a grenade out. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And, and then just kind of like drops the grenade, and. Uh, I personally have never used grenades before, so this is exciting. Um, I have no idea how any of this works. So, I guess it's a thrown weapon, I, I assume? Mm -hmm. That is a thrown weapon, yeah. Right. So, and I pick an intersection, right? Uh, so, I guess I'll pick the one that's right in between Lyco and... Uh, you brought this on his cap. I right. done nothing. Right, so I'll pick the one that's in between... You know, you know the one, right? You know. I just clarified these like there, rules so we right, could use like, this. I think. Like, <laughs> like there we go. There, the, the intersection I'm pointing to. Right. Uh, do they have like a radius? No, that answers. They will, won't they? So, let's look at equipment. Let's have a look at grenades. Uh, okay, grenades. Here we go. Where do grenades live? Power word gun. Grenades, here we go. Grenades. Uh, okay, so that is the the term, but I want the table for grenades. Where are they? Special ammo? No. Grenades. Right, so what have they got here? Man, tables upon tables. So, this, the range is 20 foot, that's fine. And I assume the special rules that have a 10 foot is the radius, 
Um, uh, right, okay. So this is Sparta, right? So this has got a 15 foot radius, this one. So I'm just going to. Fills the room up. Right, so <laughs> it's, it's going to be there, and then I'm going to have to edit that token. So technically. Where's the... You need to become no longer a drawing buddy, so you're a token again. need to edit you. Alright, so you get 15 now, buddy. There we go, save that. Let's turn you back into a drawing. And then... Let's make it smaller. And then... Oh god. Let's see if I can try and move this thing now. Nope. That's... I need to move you out of the way just now, weird. Oh, alright. <laughs> because actually moving a drawing is quite difficult. There we go, it's the best I'm going to do. So, target that intersection. Doesn't hit you, Zora. Just. Um, Should aim these grenades better? Pansy. Well... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I probably... I mean, I still have the choice to move it, right? I just, <laughs> I just, I just don't think he he wants to do that. I think he just wants to be there. Um, yeah, he just wants to pull himself up a long way through people in front of him. Yeah, like he, he would have moved it over one, but he's he's not gonna. He doesn't care that much. Um, it's more just revenge on Lyco. Um, <laughs> and then and then I'll do. Can you full attack with a grenade? That seems dumb. Um, I'm assuming not. I, I don't think I would, so. I would have to assume. Yeah, I'm going to say no one full attack because that seems dumb. Right, okay. That seems good. Now, what do these numbers mean? Uh, I guess just 11 damage to everybody. I, I don't know if there's like a reflex save or anything for. There is, you can take a reflex save. So, where does it say this? For half damage. Uh, it's in the explosives description. Cool. Uh, go. Good man. Uh, it's, it's the weapon type spec. Right, okay. Uh, just because I can obviously like try and kim <laughs> like like I'm ever actually like commit this to memory, but I feel like I should try. Um, so is it explode? Is that the characteristic that they have? Yes, it is a Black grenade. Uh, yeah, so this one has right. It's got explode, and it's two d six piercing, fifteen feet. So explode is what it's got. Here's a question, right? Sure. As an operative with uh, evasion. My, if I would take half of effect, I instead take none of it. Does that apply to damage? Yeah, I assume so. I'd assume like, so. If I made a reflex save from the grenade, would I just get clear of it? Because that's yep. the good old rogue ability. Yeah, anyway. I was going to say, yeah, oh. that's very 5e of it, yeah. Um, okay, explode. Right. So here we go. Uh, the radius of the explosion, when you attack the weapon, aim at a grid intersection, each creature within the blast radius makes the... I sorry, take solicit damage, but can attempt to reflex saving throw for half damage. I love that, but can attempt. Why would you not? Um, well, this guy just wants to die, probably, the zombie. Like, uh, for half damage, if they explode, special property has any special effects other than damage, they are negated with a successful <coughs> saving throw. Uh, some exploding weapons, such as smoke grenades, don't deal damage, so they don't include damage and damage type entries. But, what's the DC? Yeah, um... It's determined by the class, the level of the weapon, I think. It'd be nice if they told you that there, wouldn't it? Hmm. Yeah. So, do we need to look at reflex saves now? Probably. It, it's there, just off the special box on that page. Uh, some weapons that explode will cause critical hit effects. Ah, uh, yeah. Can go. 10 plus health level weapons, item level plus one of your ability modifiers. Wow, one of my ability modifiers. The, yeah. Otherwise, so the dex. ability modifier corresponds to the ability modifier you'd normally use to make an attack with that weapon. Dex yeah. for ranged or throwing. Okay, so my my dex mod plus oh. half the weapon's level plus 10. Plus 10. Mm -hmm. Fucking <coughs> hell. Um, <laughs> right, okay, so we know it's at least 10, right? And I think the weapon's level 6, I think. I think that's what I read. Uh, no, it's 4. It's a 4, uh, and it's dex mod, right? So the DC on this check is a, is a wild uh, 16. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna roll my f wraith, my breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you make it? I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I like being a space rogue. Spoke. I did not. No. Oh. Fifteen. You did not either, buddy. I'm trying to find. I've got a thing. <laughs> um. Sorry, I seem to be missing. But your thing. shield could activate for the first time. Your AI would have uh, something to do. Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. There should be. Uh, right. It's okay. I will. I will take my damage while I'm waiting um, from grenade. Let me go back to so that. the weird thing about the the reflex save is, do I just stand there and somehow have dodged the explosion? I'm still standing. In? So yeah, it's yeah, a it, it, it's a really weird thing, right? But like, yeah, rogues get this in five years, well, and it's it's cool. But it, I feel like you should. be need to move out of like you get to move out of it it should be right yeah but it, it doesn't at least move that block or something just to yeah, represent to, it. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. plus i think that would be valid if you couldn't do it if you didn't have an empty space to move to i think that'd be quite yeah, cool that, if it, that would be perfectly fair like if right. you were completely surrounded and like mm -hmm. one of the enemies decided to take you down with a grenade like and yeah. sacrifice himself and their allies like that should be a situation that's ridiculously hard to escape mm -hmm. So I've just seen what the issue is. It's okay. Well, we, when the Lyco doesn't take any damage, and we can, we can retroactive whatever happens to you, right? But it is your turn um, next, so we as well wait. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, one of my class features. Uh, apparently, I only pasted half of it in. Um, oh no, sorry. I got a feat and a class feature, and I pasted the class feature feat uh, mess a text over the feat text. I see nothing. Shocking overload. I just that's see cool. that as well, yeah. Cool. Um, that's not what I'm trying to use, but there we go. that works. Uh, what I'm trying to use is my nanite integration, which was something I got. Oh, where's it gone? Should be under. Basically, I think it lets me use a reflex to. Uh, I'm sorry, a result point. Right, okay. To, so it's not on the SRD. What is... where did it come from, the ability? Um, it is an Android Right, let's have a from, look. Yeah, do, uh, you know, do you know where from? When did they bring out the alternative Android? So is that in Character Operations Manual? That will be, yeah. It's most likely going to be in there, right? Um, yeah. That's the an team. android that hangs out at the steps at uh, the back of uh, Goma. <laughs> <sort of thing. laughs> you mean borders, right? Good old borders. Uh, it's a bottles. I just don't know. I don't have SCOM immediately available to me. Uh, anyway, let's see. Um, and it doesn't seem to be on the wiki. Let's see. Right, so I don't see now integration in this part, but it doesn't mean it doesn't exist in the other part because this is still the mechanic stuff I'm looking at. So is it earlier in that? It'll be. So it's in the Android this. section. I know. I just had um, a. I just had a nosy at that anyway. Um, uh, so I've got the uh, it's page seventeen of character ops. Cool. Let me jump to that. Sorry, one. it's the other one I took anyway. Uh, annoyingly, there's three different options within it, and I do not recall which one I picked. So I'm going to actually write that down this time. Um, that it is repairing nanites. Repairing nanites, when you take other damage, you can spend one response on a reaction to gain fast healing equal to one quarter of a cat. And rebooting nanites would have been the one that you would have had had it been that ability you thought you had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's the one where you do the. You yeah, that lets you reroll, but it's. Uh, 
It's quite a cool ability though, isn't it? An integration. And I can take it multiple times to pick up the other one. Nice. Um, but uh, let me just then check what fire season does. Cool. So yeah, I will regain. You ran down, don't you? Probably. Yeah, it usually is. Um, so I will spend one resolve point to uh, give myself fast healing. Cool. Yes. Wait, that's hit point damage, not seven point damage. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I was gonna say you're you're good. Yeah. But you did take damage, so does your shield activate? My shield does activate. So my force field brown is on. Okay. Force field brown. Fast heal does that give a kill like two HP, field. then one HP, then buff. What's it, sorry? It's, it's fast heal in the one where you deal like two HP one turn, then like one HP the next turn or some shit. I can't remember. Uh, no, yeah, I think you just regain two HP every at the start of your turn. Cool. Yeah. The um, yeah, the four shields have different colours to them for quality. Yeah. Colour and the, yeah, I know. It's just that like brown is just. Mm -hmm. Like of all colors for a force field, it's, it's the lowest tier one. Yeah, it's so lackluster though. Can you imagine the visuals of that? Just like a slight shitty hue. I can because there's a lot of things. Mostly the Dune movie by David Lynch uh, has force shields that are brown. I haven't seen it. It's good. Believe it or not, I think I've got it. Good. Uh, Lynch was not pleased with that film, if I recall. No, but near there was Dune fans, so. Well, as long as no one's pleased, I am. Yeah. Um. So that gives me one temp HP, but it recharges every turn. Uh, it's kind of so cool. Combine that with the fast healer. I should. Let me um, show this this wonderful gif for a <sighs> Colin. There you go, Colin. There is um, some of June for you. Okay, that's yeah. Mm. It's uh, a little dubious. It's it's bad. It's not a bit bad. Like, <laughs> but well, when was it made? Because this was before his big breakout. And uh, I think that's Patrick Stewart having a go at him. God, yeah, those those have not aged well. Those effects at all. No, I hope though the new movie does the exact same effect. But it was, like, it's like it's Kevin McLaughlin <laughs> in. I mean, there's quite ages he there. I mean, June was a good age. So uh, that happens anyway, and then. Yeah, I think it just looks at its... I mean, I suppose I should probably do the damage to the other thing as well, right? So it's probably like... Funnily enough, it's not completely pasted yet, the other thing. Um, it's just very, very badly burnt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only very badly burnt. <laughs> uh, right, weird. So you now shimmer with a brown hue. Oh no. You maybe take stamina point damage. Mm -hmm. I will just full attack punch him. Okay. Very uh, Twenty one. Okay. I think that's a hit one KEC, but let me find that page again. It's not. I was wrong. No. I thought twenty one hit before. It did not. Not okay. for KEC. Or if it did, I was wrong before. Then you were wrong. Okay. But now I've told you, so you can remedy it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I demand you give him his HP back. I demand that you do not rob this NPC of his honourable. Um, that's fine. He's he's doing what he's doing. Uh, right, Zora, the guy who just threw a grenade. Uh, how dare he! And he takes... and he took it like a champ as well. Wait, how dare he? Like, <laughs> use my tactics. Mm -hmm. Right. Wait. Very rude, Ian. Bang. Oh my god, 19 again! Stop that! <laughs> it's because you mentioned Corona. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said that bad word. <laughs> uh, Can we just rename the gun now to the Covid model? Can we just do it? Like, I feel like that's that's what you've got, buddy. You're rolling 19s for days now. Yeah. Oh wow, it's going like that. Yep. <laughs> just, uh, I just oh clicked that. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Oh, fuck 
this Corona wet, man, all the roads lined. So I was trying to come up with a joke, but I wasn't coming up with anything good enough in time to like make a joke about, yeah, 19, as in mm-hmm. the number of care homes which have had to uh, no, burn not, down. Let's, not, like let's not be that political in a game about space violence. <laughs> Some of my favourite violence. Yeah, Colin, we're never political here. <laughs> I, I understand it's only politics when it's politics I don't like, so I'm never political. Uh, Not politics to my RPGs, please. <laughs> I guess we just stop playing Starfinder then, right? Because it's got oh, way oh, more yeah. political than oh, I ever intended. <laughs> It's something I actually remember saying long ago, maybe even to Nick way back in the day, um, about my writing style for like stories and how I don't think I could ever do anything heavily political um, in like an RP. And then I look at Starfinder and I go, hmm. Yeah. I think there's a, it's, there's a distance, right? Because like, although real world politics obviously would exist in a world like this, they're not really what we're dealing with. Yeah, it's more. It's almost comic book politics, I think, is how I would look at this, because it's very... Um, Simplified, right? Those are the baddies. Oh, it's just a simple version. Mm-hmm. Any more, Zara? No, that's my turn. Cool. Well. Shoot my fist again because I like messing. Like, oh, yeah, grenades just went off in your face and you, you then, I don't know, fucking backflip twice to avoid the damage somehow. Yeah, did some sort of elaborate fancy spin. I like to believe weird. that back, the, the elaborate fancy spin is you step behind the uh, 10 foot wide android yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and step well, back to where you were without them noticing. You use that deck chair looking in behind him as a shield. Like, you, you mean the ladder that's going up? No, no, no. no <laughs> there's a deck chair behind me, I think, as well. The deck chair looking thing. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> it's, like, it's probably um, a table or something, but. I actually can't see what that is, it's because I've got your health bars above it. Let me just move you to the side. Whabam. Yeah, it's like a crate or something, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Still point... Um, Do you know what? It yeah. can be It can be a deck chair, don't worry. Yeah, that, that's fun. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Still pointing, like, two guns at it. I, I'm going to try one last time for diplomacy, and I'm going to see... Oh, so I'm pretty sure you can see it based on the way the, the sight rules work, because, some like, your square could draw a line... It's square, right? So like, oh, like I can't actually because I can't click on it without clicking on me. Uh, you've got to snap but, the corner and show to oh others, yeah, but yeah, like, like I'm pretty sure, like, see because you can draw a line of sight to like yeah. those two yeah. corners. Um, and in fact, I can snap to center and still see it because it doesn't completely impede it. So I think I can see. No, it. but keep in mind, technically, he is also you're cutting his corner. Like, right, keep, it, keep right. in mind, like that line of sight at. I can't do it because I'm snapped to corner where we're back to center. Like you are actually cutting through his square, so technically that would be blocking it. But it's because you can see that s- that yeah, side of it. Side. Yeah, I'm sure that's how it works for targeting in this. So but I think it is, I think as long as the corner can hit a corner. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm sure that is. Uh, I think we think, I think yeah, that was explained to me before, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, I will. Uh, yeah, I'll try again to just sort of. I mean, I, again, trying to diplomacy in a sense. So yeah, um, I don't. Hmm, what should I say to? It? Who are you asking? You asking me? Uh, anyone? Anyone ideas how I should address it? Because I'm thinking he'll just like, you know, say something to the effect of like, you know, help. One last <laughs> chance. You know what? Oh, well, um, I, I'll two guns point out and say, um, <clears throat> right. Okay, so that didn't work. Help. We can help if you surrender. Then you hear the uh, the raspy voice. You know, bits of shrapnel from the frag grenade in its like neck and stuff like that. And it just says, "Surrender." Ah, oh, okay. Um, deep sigh, and. 
Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that again. I'm just gonna do the same fucking thing again because it's working. Uh, and what I'm also gonna do is move as part of it because I can do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna move there because I feel like that gives me a better bead on him. Okay. Just shifting slightly, lining up my shot carefully, sort of idea. Mm -hmm. And hey, why the hell was my Lyco sheet closed? Sorry. Um, I like how you said it so ac accusationally, like it was one of our faults. I know it isn't, <laughs> and yes, it still is. Uh, it was me. It's not like Zora is zipping out of existence temporarily. Mm. Oh, okay. My people so, need me, I must go. Once again, sense motif. 33. Um, yep. And again, there's the possibility I will mess, so we must roll for attacking. Twenty-five. Was that KAC? That's a hit. Yeah. Um, it's the actual hit this time, Alex. Yeah, no. so, and five D eight. Oof. Oof. Damn. Yeah. It's not bad. It's, it's, it's quite excessive for what was required. <laughs> Thirty-nine. Yeah. It's all right, though, right? It's all right. Yeah. I mean, it turns out. Full attack's great, but not for my guns. I like the idea that you look, like, you run in, you shoot with both guns, and then you look at one gun and go, actually, stick the tongue out to the side, close one eye, bang. Yeah. Just somehow, immediately more damage, it becomes a Quentin Tarantino gun at this point. It's, <laughs> it's like the, it is like the, 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 the Kimpachi thing, where mm -hmm. like his massive power up, <laughs> we talked about it last week, was using his sword properly. So you put away one gun, put your second hand on the other gun over your first hand, and then... The wind starts <laughs> swirling around me, music plays, yeah. Uh, except not putting away the other gun, because why would I? Anyway, mm -hmm. but yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. So... I hope you're tracking ammo in each gun, buddy. Uh, I am tracking them both together because I need to code another one in for the other gun, and I haven't done that. But I'm counting how much ammo I am down. Okay. Uh, is that you, yeah, buddy? That yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that's it too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you just start to see, like, from all like the wounds you have caused these things, just just almost like red foam bubbling out of them. Mm. Well, that's pleasant. So, yep, red foam starts to bubble out of them. Weird, it's your turn. It's a trap. Um. Would you guys like to deal with that? And I will, uh, scout ahead. And sure. can I assume that this wall is less than five feet thick? <laughs> you can assume that, yes, yes, if you would like to. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Just work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you give me a reflex save, please? Yep. Yep. It just sees me so cool, just pop them up. <laughs> 14. Uh, no, you, you can't go back yet. Okay. You then I will keep going forward. You'll, uh. Ah. <laughs> you ah. won't. Nope. You won't go forwards, buddy. You're gonna stay no. there, because, uh. There is no more forwards. There's just space. Oh. I thought there was a wall in front of me. Uh, no. It's the other floor. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um. It's okay. But no. What's happening? I thought you'd walked out the ship. I have. Honest. Yeah, right, okay. I mean, so, you have comms, weird, but your reflexive wasn't high enough to stop yourself going through. This is fine, I'll go, I'll just turn around next time. <laughs> Why didn't you do it at an area that has a door? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a door, it had an airlock, I should have inferred that. Yeah. I was not thinking. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Um, mm. I mean, you might need to escape. Come pick you up to be honest. I've got fire speed. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. You can fly? Yeah, you can I just can fly. you can jet boot you back just, in. If you've got yep. like yeah, like if does your flight work in zero G? It just says flight. And it's a jetpack. I mean, yeah. yeah, probably right. Do you want to like go back yeah. in the wall? Yeah, um, I would like to go back in the wall, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back. His <laughs> face out there. I don't get out there without a helmet. Um, I didn't plan to. Um, <laughs> it's good to know I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that then. Yeah, the more I think about it, the less I need the shuttle. You know what? Um, <laughs> hell of a boarding team. Um, yeah, it would have been handy. Yeah. Um, do you want to teach me that one one time? Sure. <laughs> Just yes. be careful with it. It can get you into places you don't want to be. Just ah. shaking my damn head over here, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken, my, least, my damn head. <laughs> at least I'm fully equipped to deal with all eventualities. SMDH. Oh uh, dear. So. I can just hover up and stick my head through the floor. Ah. Uh, let, let's. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm going downstairs. <laughs> You mean upstairs? Uh, upstairs, sorry, is that a ladder up? So I yeah. I thought it was a ladder down. I'll, I'll, I'm going upstairs. You don't care um, about the red fizzing? Um. Michael, you do it. <laughs> sure thing, Captain. <laughs> Alright, so you want to move up, do you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me uh, move your token, shall I? Um. Okay, let me move you into space temporarily. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Who would right. do that? I know, right? I've got a helmet. <laughs> I need to move you into into this space first of all. <laughs> and then uh, I'll move you here. And then I'll need to move the map down because look at you split mapping everything. Oh, it's a general, yeah. So, yeah, it seems to be like the engine. This is definitely your port of call, weird. The thing is, though, I don't think we can fit up there because of the uh, the ladder space. Obviously, that's I, less important based on the, you know... Going through walls and flying. Yeah, and where you come up is going to be important, right? It's alright, I'll come up. I mean, just come through, like, just phase through the edges of the hatch. Yeah. I mean, there are squeezing rules, but uh, I, don't, I don't need them anymore. <laughs> And I feel like I've kind of hacked the game, Ryan. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm good. I, mean, I, I can fly and walk through walls. It's like, yeah. This is the bit where he's just entered the cheat code into the console command. Uh, it's no clip mode. Yeah, no clip mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just entered no clip mode. It doesn't bug me. It's just when you end up map clipping. <laughs> That's when it bugs me. <laughs> I saw a wall. So, what's next? Sorry. You've still got like, what? Like, that was probably. So many feet of moving up. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I've got like five feet, I think. Call it ten feet up. Ten feet up. Just, I'll, I'll step to the side and then be done. That's my, t my turn done. And I'll say, uh, it seems to be an engine room. Okay, cool. Like, cool. Okay, so sort of as he's sort of doing that, I will walk over towards the bodies. Um, mm -hmm. I will. All the red foam seems to be moving towards you. Stole one of my pistols uh, as part of my movement. Okay. And uh, can I do a perception check on them? Uh, to what end? I just want to know if I can recognise anything about this weird goop. Or would that be more like um, mysticism or life science? Or, I mean, I guess the answer would kind of. Yeah, it depends what you're looking for. Like, I mean, life science, to, I guess, is a better fit, right? Okay, I, I, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe if I understand something that's going on here in terms of undead biology, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll roll that. 24? Yeah. All right. Uh, it looks like it used to be whatever they had for blood. Yep, yeah, fair enough. That's pretty much what I would expect. Mm -hmm. Still moving um, towards you. I can split up my movement. Hmm. Um... Can you? I'm gonna. How fast? Yeah, yeah. 
Because I can move action and then move, right? Uh, I'm not actually sure about this system. I know there's a feat for spell casting to do that. I don't know if. Or maybe it's only for my attack then. Because I can definitely do it with attacks. Yeah, it's a strange one for um. I can't remember for the life of me what the source of it is. Yeah, I'm sure movement's jank in this one. Right, let me just have a quick check. Yeah, I'll have a quick nosy for movement myself and we'll see what we can come up with. Moving your speed. C255. Okay. Why would it tell me there? Uh, speed, movement scales. Quick movement and improve quick movement, which is to do with my. Just having faster speeds, yeah. Um, hmm. No, okay, maybe I can't do that. I'm not sure. It's um, definitely it's definitely a five E thing. But I don't think it's a shot on the run, make a race attack at any point during movement. Yeah. So that tells me that you can't. Eh? That it tells does. me you wouldn't normally be able to at least for attack. Yeah. But I, I I do have things that let me do like my trick attack and what I have to like. I, I I do have means to do it with attack, but I don't know if it can be done with like a check. So I'm gonna let's just say no. Yeah, spring attack is moved before and after a melee attack. Um. Oh, excuse me. Oh, let, let's yeah. Let's just for the for the sake of simplicity, let's assume the answer to that is no, and that that is my turn over. Uh, I, but I won't, you know, just ignore it. I'm gonna say, like, uh, this stuff seems to be moving. Yep, yep. Nobody, nobody cares, yep. apparently. Nope, okay. uh, it's not good news, is it? I don't think so. Um. Yeah, but my turn's over, so it would be his turn now, anyway. And it does have the horrible diagonal rules in this one that I'm just happy to ignore. Is that like every second is like diagonal is actually ten feet or some crap? Yeah, that's it. Exactly. It's every second uh, one's double move. Um. So. Yep. Um. That's crazy. Uh, I'm still looking to see if I can find uh, any more clarification on this, this movement stuff because I can only find feats for like, yeah. attacks and spell casting. I can't really see it in for like I could just shoot magic move, moved, you're moved. Like I don't know. Yeah, well, let's, let's just assume because there are definitely things that allow you to take specific actions with that. I just wondered, you know, maybe is that something that only normally applies to attacks but I don't know and I think we can we should assume based on what we know that I can't move after doing that so um yeah so yeah my my my, my, my turn is up it is it is big weird man uh where's the engine captain um just up <laughs> uh, about 10 feet in front of the ladders oh, I will move to here and then zoop up. Uh, let me see if I can actually accommodate that. Uh, right, okay, so you will end up phasing through a lot of things by going there, FYI. So I'm just going to dump you there. There is where you phase. Uh, <laughs> can I start to start you to the in front? Yeah, so... No, because you're still through a wall. There you go. Uh, ah! Ah, oh, good to have you with me. A bit snug in here, Captain. Uh, you're telling me. <laughs> Someone like, crammed into a corner. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> My god. <laughs> um... When did you get so big? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's about the time that I acquired the power armor, I'm gonna say. Uh, Alice has the same armor. <laughs> uh, I thought I was big. Um, you were. Yeah. Was. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh, engine. Was there anything up here you wanted from me? Uh, shrugs. I mean, it's an engine. I didn't actually measure how much I moved there. Would that be all my movement over, Ryan? <laughs> I, I have no idea how much you moved when you're down there. Probably, though, right? If you were. Yeah. If you're. Yeah, you're probably. That's how high up I'm going as well. Mm hmm. Zoop. Yeah. I don't see any doors or anything, do I? Uh, I mean, you kind of did. You kind of phased through half a door, um, okay. and you're also looking, I guess. Like that so, cool? that was yeah. a door there, and that's a door there. Is it open? Uh, no. They're both closed. Uh, is it locked? Can I uh, that one next to me is locked? Uh, you need to interface with it. So you've got your like ranged hack. hacking nonsense thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. They both seem locked. Uh, then I would like to make an attempt at locking the one, unlocking the one opposite me. The farthest away one, yeah, cool. Yes. Perfect. Go for it. Because I can actually see through that one. 25. No, unfortunately. In it's fact, wait, 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 no, yep, you got it, in fact, sorry. Yep. That's yeah. ex ex exactly what you needed. <laughs> I was too used to the other stats from, you know, combat. So, mm -hmm. I do you want to open it? Yes. Keep it as not an airlock. <laughs> <laughs> the way is open for you, Captain. Please don't break it. I'll... no promises. <laughs> uh, I mean, doors don't see eye to eye. Sure goes, Aura. Uh, excuse me, big guy. Uh, one, two. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, go here. And, uh, and then you get that far, and then we stop you, buddy. Oh, there's a, a. Ah, there's a little green man. So I think you get to like there, probably. <laughs> and uh, oh. And then, yeah. So. Let me just do what we need to do. So, yep, everything. Reroll initiative, because you all love doing that. Initiative. We got a grey, boys, we got a grey. <laughs> Wait, is that a grey? Um, you'll see. Will I? Um, I'll maybe. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I didn't. I got that turn for like, oh, you need to fix your initiative somehow. So I don't have to do this every turn. Uh, I think this was us fixing the initiative, or more accurate, I think this was Alex fixing the initiative for me. Yeah, that is definitely not fixing the initiative. It means I still I have a door to. Why is there two of you on this? That's no, okay, there isn't. I'm just unable to read. Um, just a blue ball does initiative. Okay, <laughs> so it's getting a cheeky sneak attack off on you. I know, right? It's almost like it was uh, poised. Uh, oh, Christ. Eh? Ready for this? So, we're bam. I'm scared. It's actually cold, I agree. <laughs> oh, that miss. That's a miss. Cool. Uh, 27. Uh, Kick. And with that, we. Uh, I'll, I'll show this for everybody, shall I? Uh huh. There we go. This is my fault. Yeah. I talked about the greys, and now they're here. Yeah, that's literally what it was. You talked about them, they heard you. <laughs> and uh, they were like, yeah, they you're... heard you with the guys. Um, also, Alex got a minor spoiler of it because he wandered on the map. Yep. <laughs> the worst. Mm -hmm, the worst. So, we will uh, checkpoint there for next time. Um, because of the time. And I will sort us out on the credit screen. And we'll name the session. I, I'm going to veto girls, not grey. <laughs> uh, 
Um, not one of their best tracks, if one of their more popular ones. It's alright, it's not great, but yeah, it's alright, yeah. Uh, um. Miseria Cantair? <laughs> Um, um, do you know the weird thing as well is like see I've probably heard all of AFI stuff right up to like um, Love Like Winter stuff uh, but because I listened to it all on shuffle they're like their discography I have no idea what any of the songs are called uh, so Miseria Cantier is you know how they always used to do an intro track mm-hmm. so it's Latin roughly for Sing the Sorrow and it's the intro track to Sing the Sorrow nice that's a pretty good song Sing the Sorrow it's good. Um, yeah. it's, it's, the, the, that album's good. Um, Black Seals and Sunset is excellent. Uh, also, MD at home listening to is like this was a session, honest. Um, oh, it was fun. <laughs> I, I got two people to death. Um, Dodged a grenade. Alright, so a lot, let's let's not jump to the the wrap up chat so quickly, shall we, guys? Let's maybe take on board the the naming of the session. What is with um, What happened and what we're we calling it? Uh, uh, help? Question mark. Yeah, I guess. Uh, um. Oh, oh! I have an idea, but I need to. I need to. I need to. Um, um, I've got another one there that was something Alex said, or weird said. That's space out there. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, oh. okay. I've got an idea. Oh dear. Uh, things are getting strange. Right. Is that it? Is that the idea? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. And there's a reason for that. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll never know. Do you remember the Catatonia song? Uh, no. If you know, folks at home, if you know, you know. Uh, Things are getting strange, I'm starting to worry. Okay. This might be a case for Mulder and Scully. Uh, uh, Grace joke! Uh, it was a musical Grace joke. Um, I mean... We've also got a uh, shades of grey as an option, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How many of them? Uh, no, no, just just all of them. Okay. Yeah. Ah, we got all of them. Yep. Yeah. Screw oh, you. Yeah. Is it Stephanie Myers? <laughs> or no, she in um, Twilight? She's tw- she's Twilight. Close close enough, right? Screw you, Stephanie Myers. <laughs> Her fifty shades <laughs> of grey. <laughs> um, right. Something James. Ellie James. I have no idea. Sure. Um, that'll do. Uh, right. Uh, what else we got, guys? We don't have a name yet. Help! I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Help with the question mark? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. I guess, I'll, I guess I'll just be that guy and vote in mine thing. There we go. <laughs> I'm attending my own. I'll, um... I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna vote for Wait. for the thing that Alex said. Uh, oh, then I'll go with me. Nice. Oh, no, we've got a, we've got a cells a, a, a tie. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I always have odd numbers. Damn it. Roll, roll a d twenty. Uh, no, I roll a d two. Right. So okay. what? Right. Slash one d two, and obviously one is help, and two is that space out there. I go heads. So. Uh, um. Let's help. There we go. Sorted. Okay. Excellent. Uh, I'll pop that in here. That's me too. I did only switch one, but it'd be awkward. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, right. So I want it be very clear on the record that I only shot them because the effect. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, right? You did you did good, right? You did your sturdy thing, right? And you were like... I tried to be a good guy. Like, you know, you, are, you, are you kosher? Are you okay? No? Oh, they're not good. Bang, 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 bang. Um, exactly, the first cut was the deepest, and mm-hmm. that's why I shot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> this is so bad. Uh, but yes, so. Any goals come up, guys? Any, any, any goals? Any goals from the lads? Um, any goals ago? Mm-hmm. Any goals ago? Yeah. 
Eddie Gold. Oh, is indeed a goal. Famously. Th that should uh, be a slogan on a hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by, uh... Focus, Colin. Any... So... Well, in a sense, we've got the ship and corpses. So... Yeah. So the intel crew and corpses is get the stewardship intel crew and corpses. The ship was never... Ah, yeah, it, dep it depends what it depends what we found, right? And now we have found something, and I consider that in many ways a victory. Currently, you have nothing. You're standing next to something oozing red foam that seems to be going for you. I mean, I can see that. You want to look at it from that perspective? I can't <laughs> stop. Um, but yeah, like if you complete the ship arc, then yeah. Um, I, I can't wait till Callum says, how much did you get done last week? And you say, well, we moved from one cargo bay to the other. I went into space. You did? Oh, uh, some hey, I broke a door, right? I don't know what I think. You broke a... I could just fly through the enemy <laughs> spaceships. Uh -huh. Other tour than the one we went through as well. That's the thing I really love about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's good. It's... um. <laughs> It's we were still in progress. It's protecting the route of escape by making sure that you don't go that way. Right? That's what it is. Yeah. So nobody else yeah, can yeah. like loop around on you. It makes yeah, sense. Yeah, something to be flank. Dead in the flank. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's such, it feels like such the wharf thing to do, doesn't it? In an episode though, where it's That's like... That's why I'm the war hero, guys. That's just... Uh, <laughs> like, while well, you're thinking up replacement goals for oh, maybe some of these, war. right? Oh, no. oh, man. So, sorry. while well, you're thinking up replacements for some of these, uh, the, one of the episodes I was watching of TNG uh, recently was um, Riker, uh, sorry, Worf and a Romulan trying to fix a Romulan ship to seal a door to the reactor so they can jettison it out of the ship about to explode. So Worf, like, strains and the Romulan does nothing because he's a Romulan and not as good as Worf. And then, and then they don't make it and then they... Uh, Right, like he's his commander, and then Riker goes off her to help as well, and they couldn't. And then, like, you know, a minute of them struggling happens, and then you just hear, stand aside, and Data just steps up, and everybody smirks, and they all step aside, and he just, like, tosses the the kind of broken part of the ship aside, and then just closes the doors effortlessly. And you're like, you really are the entire reason the Enterprise won anything, <laughs> is Commander Data. The thing I don't get is, like, how do people, like, <laughs> Maybe the first time you meet him, be a bit sceptical of his abilities. Mm. Oh, it's just... To be fair, though, he had stepped into the ship at that point, right? He wasn't on it, necessarily. He wasn't in the room with them, and obviously there was a countdown and whatnot, but it was just ridiculous. I love it. It's so silly. Um, by the way, so, are you wanting to trade out any goals for next session? I'll trade out my thunder. I'll, I'll go for, like, this... Discover... What? I mean, is this too close to like retrieving the, the intel on the ship? You tell me. To discover what caused the crew to get like that. <laughs> no, because use claiming the the crew isn't the same as understanding what happened to them. Okay, right. Like well, you, could, you could body bag them all and then just not care, right? Discover what took place on the key Polari. probably spelled that wrong. K is it K-E or K-I? I can't remember. K-E. K-E, cool, cool, cool. Kivo, Larry. Cool. <laughs> is, that, is that a adequate goal change? Uh, it's this... what took place on the Kivalari. So, uh, yeah, you need to specify a bit more because it's a bit vague. What took place? What? Mm. Because like Lycos is get the intel, uh, the crew and the corpses if possible, right? And yours is just. I wonder what happened yeah. here. What happened to the crew on the Cleveland? What's been going on here? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think that's fair enough, right? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I see you've updated one. Yes. <laughs> I want to make sure it's direct and achievable. I see. Right, okay. Um, so... These things... Am I wrong in saying that they are basically as slippery as Nexus? Or weird as? You'll find out. Yeah. Um, mm. Just tried to ambush me. <laughs> it's pretty slippery. Um, <laughs> um, so... 
catch a grey is your current goal? Catch uh, a grey. To what end? Uh, I think the CC forums will go fucking mental for it. Uh, yeah. Right, so you want to basically catch a grey to and take it back to the ship? Yes. Right, okay. Because catching a grey just, ah, just implies you like bear hugging one for a bit. So. I mean, I'll take that if it's what I need to. Uh, <laughs> to get a goal. To go. <laughs> no, I was so I was thinking about the goal system, and I think what I'll do as well is um, see for like any combat focused sessions. I think I'll give you like a combat goal slot, right? Because. No, I don't mean that. I mean like because <laughs> the session was combat focused. Yeah. Like it's like a goal slot. Right, because you couldn't technically achieve certain goals within like a initiative based combat. To make sense, so yes, I think I'll do that. Um, I'll do that obviously at the end of this particular adventure, though. Um, but I think that's fair because I quite like that idea. Because obviously you get goals like goal levels, um, at the moment. So I feel it's like a what good replacement for like combat XP essentially just. Like, yeah, because I don't want to like rob of that, but I think it's just like having like a basically a goal line saying there was a combat. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. So I'll just combat complete. Goal yeah, complete. And that that feels good because then that, you can count that towards your ne your next level up and stuff. Um, and I think we'll just try and aim for twelve, right? I don't see the point in doing eleven. We'll just go to twelve um, as our next level up. Um, so we'll keep that in mind. Uh, you've, have you changed it already? Alex. No, did I just? Um, I it's don't know what's happening. It's blank. It's blank. Oh, that's Why in, that's in the next line now. <laughs> Who's in what? I'm not doing anything. I don't know what happened there. Okay. I must have leaned on the wrong button. Okay. Do you want to add in the part where you're taking it back to the ship? <laughs> so yeah. it's confusing in his voice. I don't know what's doing that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it cracked me off already. It's okay, yeah. Uh, what about goal three? Keeping it or shelving it? Uh, well, I don't progress, I feel. Hopefully. I mean, sure. Uh, um, it just depends if you think you can get something else more valuable in in the meantime. I've got nothing else. I can go in there. I've got nothing, personally. Oh, well, I go. Any goals you want to chuck in to complete early, buddy? He may be away though, because he's muted. Oh, I'm muted! Sure. Yeah. yeah, so if uh, you said anything witty, we didn't hear it. That was instead of retrieve... What was it? Yeah, it was just because obviously we've traded out the first two already, so we've got to discover what happened to the crew of the Kiva Larry. I think that might be a slightly longer term one, retrieve Ivan, the news. Um, um, I think I'll put mine as more of like a midterm because like get the that's a bit of a what I might do is sort of switch it over to something akin to like um let me think something like uh, contact or update barback on ship situation right because I'm looking at the captain's one, which is more immediate, and mine, which is more sort of midterm, and I'm thinking, well, just doing this mission, that is, I suppose, worth like having a go for. But then, we're doing it for a purpose, which is to bring it to Babak, right? So I, I don't know. Do, do you guys think it should be like inform Babak or just do the mission? Um. <laughs> I don't know well, if we're going to get a right, chance to so, inform Bar back anything. So, so done, if you know what I mean. the way I would read that, though, is you getting the steward intel and the crew and the corpses would be complete when you've kind of done the handover, right, with yeah. Barback. So that's really included in Goal 4 anyway. Right, so I, I think Goal 4 is... Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to think. Cause I, I, the what I'll do is I'll fix it by adding in um, this, right? Um, I, I can't spell Barback. There we go. Uh, there you go. Does that fix that for you? Yeah. Good, because that 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 gives you a very clear cut goal. Um. Okay. Uh. So in the mean meantime, we 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 can make room for more midterm goal. Yeah. We'll leave um, five the mess that it is for Zig, right? <laughs> oh yeah. 
Yeah. There's no fixing it. Nope. That's his problem. Calum uh, the precious, but we know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, does anybody have any ideas for what goal three could be then? Because yeah, I think uh, the retrieve Ivan thing is definitely an after goal four thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you could probably uh, try and clear some more goals before then. I'm not sure at the moment. I'll be honest with you. I'm really not sure. I'm kind of not sure myself. I mean, obviously, I want to know what Red Goop is in the meta, and me wants to know why they're called Demonitoshi's arm. But I mean, I don't know that. But mm. um, I mean, I guess discovering what's going on kind of covers that anyway with the crew and what happened to the crew. I don't know. I'm actually not sure. I kind of think it's like immediate, other than what they're actually immediately doing, and is already up there. Convince S. Kate to drink goop. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens. I mean, I think that's, and I might be wrong, but I think that's a bad idea. Really? That seems good to me as well. It just it feels <laughs> something that might not be beneficial or could somehow go wrong. I I'm, I could be wrong. Been wrong before. Imagine you just got her killed before she could go back in time to stop a uh, Zig eleven times. Man. Maybe we need to do that because her interfering with Zig is actually the reason it doesn't work. And if you simply <laughs> didn't listen to her, it would all be fine. I mean, I yeah. Maybe, right? <laughs> and her telling Zig not to change the past slash future, she is changing the past slash future. Mm -hmm. Plus, screwing. Everything up. Yeah, but according to her, Zig told her to do that, so it's a bit of a paradox in itself <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, right, goal three, guys. Do we have any good ideas for goal three? Because let's, let's look at what's happened. You've, you, you've docked with the ship, you've wandered through a bit, you've already discovered that there seems to be like people that stand back up and ask for help or surrender, uh, and then bleed red goop that bubble, like, foams up. And then you've got people walking through walls and ending up in space and then you've got a uh, obviously this this mysterious gray upstairs yeah what's a gray up there that could be i mean the thing is i feel like with catch a gray that's kind of leading us as a sort of first step towards a later find out what the gray was up to right mm -hmm. that feels like the next goal after that mm -hmm. probably you know it's like an infamous criminal gray that the stewards caught in the way there <laughs> so the greys are very like lore wise very not like very little is known about them like they're all they're, they're they're almost like um you know well the greys right <laughs> that's about to change mm -hmm. oh man imagine you got one you got nasma keck clicking on that Oof. that's what we're gonna make our money Oof. right the grey market the yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's a session title waiting to happen, by the way, Alex. Uh, just a you it. It's just a one shot, yeah, me and you run. Just me as Nazma Keklik and you as weird. <laughs> we'll just have an RP uh, conversation. Uh, so, uh, that'd be terrible. It probably would be. So, Maybe simple crimes. <laughs> so much crimes. <laughs> we'll get Marty involved, it'll be fine. He can be the bag Go man. Uh, right, so, goal three. Uh, what else would you like to achieve, right, on the ship? Uh, do, you want to, do you want some GM help? Because I've got an idea. If I was a player, I'd be thinking this. Or, yeah. Uh, sure. See if the ship's salvageable. That's a fair point, because That's that would potentially aid us in our goal of getting it back. Also, probably so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably. Right, because <laughs> you know how that works out, right? I don't know, maybe you'd speak the other one, right? The third one. Um, so you you could try and save the ship salvageable, but it's not so much that you would get the ship right. It was yeah, more about that you. It's not even that though, right? Like it's more maybe Babak would owe you. Big money, money. Right. Because okay. that's it. Because he didn't ask for the ship back, but if you can get the ship back, that's a big get, right? It's a resource, right? I am. Um, Fair. You could ask for to borrow, I guess, if he's really wanted to. Um, we do have a number of bodies, so taking a ship back... Right, it's not the also worst. Also flying in a group of three. Mm. That is a little bit of extra protection. Yeah, I can fly on the outside. Mm -hmm. Just hacking on. Woohoo, cowboy hat on. <laughs> <Damn, yeah. laughs> 
But like, yeah, like ultimately, right? The the best case scenario is you could have a third ship, right? Worst case scenario is uh, you just get the stuff you wanted anyway. In that oh, like regard. Okay, yeah, like worst case scenario is you get the ship and the like you meet Zig. <laughs> <laughs> right. Which is rough. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, but I think we can handle it. Yeah. But like as a ship, right? It could be another thing. And keep in mind you do have a quite a considerable crew at the moment. In total. And that's before we had the greys. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, plural. Yep. They're actually already in the ships. <laughs> you just haven't spotted them yet. Spotted them and forgot. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I suspect <laughs> the greys did not have you know, our best interests in mind. Greatest. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, goal three. What's the thoughts? That's just my suggestion. I don't know if you want to do that, but like it is at least an idea I would have if I was on the crew. But to be fair, I'd still be on the final hour if I was in the crew. Uh, I mean, I guess that's a good idea. The uh, thing is, don't do it if you don't care, right? Like that's the point. Like it's no, just. It is. It is. It is a good idea that. We're um, too proud to admit it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it occurred to me. I think, I think so. It's just too dumb to think about it. No, it's just like, yeah. It's oh, it's a I think I just pull them up. We'd probably come up with it. So I don't think it's in any way unreasonable for us to have thought of it. And yeah, no, I'm like, you are definitely capable of like that because obviously, like, for Lyco's point of view, it's a stewardship that he might like. Babak might want back, and for Zora's point of view, it's an asset worth using, and for. Like weirds my view, it's another ship he gets to tinker with. So, yeah, like, there's, the yeah, sense. right. Like, there's, there's valid justification for MD to come up with it. Um, obviously, Emlyn would already have stolen it by this point. So, we know that is a. I assume she had stolen it. Yeah. Right. Um, she was a great all along. Yep, it makes sense to be honest, given everything that was happening. Um, it makes perfect sense, but the. Like, between the three ships you have, like, if this thing was missing stuff that isn't, like, clearly critical, like a, like a drift engine, right? You could probably get it up and running just based on cannibalizing whatever you had to from the other ships, if you needed to do that. Or maybe even from uh, the shuttles. Right, yeah. So, you have got options. As I said, it doesn't seem like there's any other ships nearby at the moment, does it? So, it is a possibility. It's just, again... You aren't going to be getting retrieve Ivan next session unless you make crazy no, good time. I agree. So, that's an option. I'm trying to think if there was anything else it would come up with, but yeah, I don't know. Like you could just always just say, like, salvage, you know, something useful from the ship or some shit like that, right? You could always say something like that that isn't the ship itself if you don't want another well, ship. Let's leave it broader, right? Salvage ship, question mark? Because that can imply salvage what you can from the ship, or salvage the ship. Right? I would say it would need to be something significant from the ship, though. It couldn't just be, let's take the deck chair. Deck is one fine. Right. Like, you can take the deck chair, but in addition to something significant. Okay, alright, hold on. And we'll see how that goes. And, uh... I think that's quite a good one, right? Because why would you give up a potentially good ship, right? So good. The ship, S ship, or a me significant lights use. Yeah. Uh, part. Yeah. That that says part. Pater. A, a significant father. Yeah. A significant father is an unreleased. Uh, album. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or it feels like Alanis Morissette wrote that album. <laughs> Significant father. Uh, yeah, I think that's a that's a good goal, right? Like, uh, obviously we've got get the stewardship and tell blah 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 back to Babak. That's fine. Obviously we're not we're not touching goal five. That's Zig's mess. Um, so there we go. I, I think, really don't even know what it means. Nope, it's fine. Does, we don't even need to focus on it. Like, so we've got technically right. Let's say you are really efficient next session, which means we start at seven. <laughs> The, uh, <laughs> you could maybe, maybe get four goals complete. Maybe three, right? Maybe three is where you, you cap out. But like you could probably get four if you're really quick and there's nothing wrong with the ship, right? But 
we'll, we'll see. But that could be four goals done. And there's no way anything would be wrong with the ship. I mean, uh, not with Fizzy McGee. No, not at all. Um, yeah. I literally can't imagine how anything could possibly be wrong with the ship. This is sarcasm for the, the listeners at home. I was being sarcastic. Mm-hmm. Sarcasm is the latest form of wit. You couldn't tell because he was American X. <laughs> I disagree. Uh, I think uh, seeing poo 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 pee pee poo poo is is a little <laughs> So <laughs> I love that. Oh, you still always say that, Dimitri. You hated sarcasm, but hated it and we are fashion. Okay, so let's do a wrap-up chat then, shall we, guys? Um, why don't we just start off from the top of the list then? Yeah. Me? Oh, because people keep on us up at me. That's like... Yep. <laughs> gonna, and take it away. <laughs> humbly, humbly place myself at the bottom of the list. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, me. Yeah, do you want to go first, buddy? Yes. That was that was a session. That was fun. Yeah. Um that was a lot of rounds of combat we got through in a very small space of time. Yeah, that's actually quite surprising, considering. It's good. Yeah. Um, I think it was also because we were quite laid back about the whole affair, though, right? Let's face it. Yeah. No, I, uh, I thought I enjoyed uh, all the unrecorded pre-game chat. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> definitely the best bit of our content. Mm-hmm. Um, it is, and you'll never hear it, you fucking idiots, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Should I subscribe to that page? Yep. <laughs> Rampant antagonism. <laughs> what you come here for? Um, uh, I enjoyed being able to find out all these little abilities that we have that mm-hmm. haven't really been discussed. Um, like discovering I can fly and heal myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, handy when you just walk into space. Ball. Yeah, when you walk into space and then feel reflex saves to stop that. Yeah. It's yeah, also there was that issue of, oh no, how does he not face to the floor? I'm mm-hmm. just floating everywhere. I'm basically a ghost now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A ghost tank. Yep. Yep. I had a nightmare about that once, but that's an arsehole, isn't it? A yeah. ghost tank? I want that story. Please. <laughs> well, well, let's <laughs> find out then. Let's, right, so uh, anything else there? No, that's it. Ghost tank. <laughs> Zora? Oh, that's me. I'm next. I'm forgetting. This, yeah. These orders, man. Uh, it was good testing the old roly polies. Mm-hmm. Well, the first time in like woof. Um, it was the last combat. We do so, combat, so, like, honest. Techno wizard, wizard. Like it's like a. I mean, te- technically, right? The last time that happened, uh, where there was a uh, combat, like it was just Zig that stood in front of a gun. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, and then go <laughs> yeah, sure the person well. to shoot. Yeah, uh, yeah, like yeah. Uh, Before um, that, admittedly. Mhm. So, yeah, there was that. I think we were all expecting some kind of saloon style shootout with Grinning Durwa at some point in the past, and that never happened, and I was very surprised, to be honest. Um, okay. Yeah, it just felt very westerny, this is probably going to happen, and he's probably just sat there laughing the whole time, quite frankly, because that's what he's like. But anyway, sorry, carry on, eh? <laughs> just okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was, it's, yeah, just like. Uh, Alex said it was kind of cool seeing everybody using the, the new tricks. Mm-hmm. Um, what has happened to you, Alex? You're not the next I used to know. Um, so much more operational. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely something else. Just <laughs> becoming slowly more like a fucking ethereal ascended being. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take you up on that offer to learn how to face through things at some point. Uh, totally. That's something yeah. I can teach. The montage you have is just weird saying, okay, run at the wall really fast, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you how to explode stuff with your mind. It, it I, mean, might... I can do that with a cannon. Uh, with your mind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can use my mind to make a cannon. <laughs> oh, fine. So can Alice, <laughs> to be fair. Alice is quite good at making cannons with her mind. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you know, like a techno man something? Like, is that what's just happening? <laughs> no, I actually no. I've got no. a technomantic dabbler, but yeah. uh, no, this is all through the power of technology. Mm-hmm. Yep. Horrible, horrible technology. I think so, I think uh, some of it's Magitech, though, right? I think some of it's Magitech. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, most of the time. Yeah, of course. So it's, it's all part of the great cycle. Circle of death. Oh, that was just good fun. It's good mm-hmm. fun. I mean, why is there grays? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, he needs to learn how to shoot though. Yeah, I'm pushing. <laughs> Bastard. Like. <laughs> As like a like, like needler fires past you and s sticks into the wall. <laughs> yep. Which is embarrassing because those things of tracking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's crazy. Crazy. Also, hello, Halo. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm glad you had fun. It was nice to have a wee bit of combat again. Um, mm -hmm. Honestly, I'd been, sorely, I'd been sorely tempted just to make an empty ship with a whole map. Just to see how long it would take you guys to realise the place was always just going to be empty. And I thought that's kind of dull. It's kind of kind of boring. I'm not going to do on that. On some level, I did. I did assume that was going to happen. On yeah, on a, a small level, I thought you were maybe going to pull that just because of uh, what you said at the start. Mm. But then I was like, oh, surely no. <laughs> nah, like, I mean, surely, would, surely would they be like cover them and in, in, uh, initiative rules before mm -hmm. like. Yeah, and then just yeah. not throw any list of it as like that did dissuade me somewhat, I admit. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, it was the combat was it was nice to have it, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Nice to have a bit of yeah, a cheeky really. combat game. And it wasn't entirely unsuccessful this time. Uh, uh, no? I didn't hit much, but that's fine. I mean, I kinda come to expect that. Yeah, like it's the reason you didn't do a lot of full attacks with your your rifle, because you kept doing single attacks for like, at least two or three turns that I was like, it's weird he's not doing full attacks, but it's not really on me to make you shoot my guys better, so... Uh, it's, if I can't even, like, succeed a roll with, like, foot a minus four, then, mm -hmm. like... <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, basically, do the, the, the two attacks not outweigh the minus four in terms of chance? Like, I don't know how how it works out, but, like, statistics... You probably do. You probably do. <laughs> Probably is. It depends on what the KAC is and what you yeah, find yeah. is. Mm -hmm. I yeah. won't graph it for you right now, but... But there is a double chance to crit. It's so much fun. Right? So, double yeah. chance to crit is probably worth it. Um, because it doesn't matter what your KAC or EAC is at that point. Uh, is that everything? Like we've done the show. Alright, okay. That's yeah. Fun. yeah. So, no, that's it. Yeah. No worries. Cool. There you go. Uh, like it. Lyco, 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 Lyco. Um, yeah. Hi, folks. This was the session, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> we combat, then I start with another combat. I said a start, I should say the start. Mm -hmm. Um, because to say a start implies that there are other starts mm -hmm. to that combat, which I, I suspect makes no sense. Uh, yeah. An interesting little one. Obviously, not too much character stuff. But we did get little bits in there. Mm -hmm. We got, we got the eagerness of Weir to, to try out his new stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we got and also his his sort of uh, no, he wasn't trigger happy. Like he did, he did hold off, but like we we did get that sense of right. I'm gonna blow these fuckers away <laughs> with, <laughs> with my plasma, and then he just ended up going. You know what? It's just zombies. I'm gonna punch them. Um, <laughs> Plasma would have been uh, okay. Mm. I just, I just like the sort of like the abundance of caution followed by the complete abandonment of it. Mm -hmm. um, it it's quite amusing. It's just well, like, you realise they probably can't hit you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you get a sense of like his assessment of the situation. <laughs> and there's something nice about the fact that the only damage done was by the grenade, right? Like, it's something nice about that. That it is just a case of going. Well, I cast grenade now, so done. It was a cool little uh, sort of move, like uh -huh. just like something that does not give a fuck about its own well-being. Mm -hmm. um, there is a moth fluttering around behind me. Moth, I wish you. I wish you would go outside. I thought um, you were gonna say I'll be with you in a second. I'll be with you in a second. Start with the poor thing. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that was cool, and the, the dice rolls were pretty on our side, not in caps so much. No, um, I think side. you should just all lead into them. To be honest, I do, I do. Um, or or call that as the move, but I I do sort of agree in your holding off on it because I think we all assessed fairly quickly. These are they're not mooks, right? We laid in some good shots. Mm -hmm. Um. And there were only two of them, and it's not like they went down in a turn or anything like that. Uh, but they, they certainly weren't 
they weren't the most intimidating encounter, right? Like the only, I, I was never in any threat because I wasn't next to them. Like mm -hmm. they shot at me, but their guns weren't hitting. Um, they threw the grenade, but I was able to dodge. It was like you got your shield up, so it wasn't too bad, and you'd regenerate the health afterwards. And like it, it just, even their desperation move just kind of fell flat. Mm -hmm. uh, so there, there did. It, it, it was a sense of right, okay. And I liked. I sort of tried to sort of play that into it, like with after the grenade goes off and he somehow miraculously dodges it. He just goes right. So that didn't work. Mm -hmm. Give up, maybe. <laughs> Um, and it makes sense for something that Lyco would um, instinctively do from a cop background, right? Like your your options are getting less effective, buddy. Like make yeah, it easier on yourself you, you now. Hail Mary, and yeah. it was achieved. Fuck all. So mm -hmm. maybe maybe surrender. Um, and I liked getting to do that partly because, of course, he's the one that would treat the undead with more sort of not respect necessarily, but he'd maybe acknowledge their potential intelligence. Mm -hmm. Which other people maybe just don't instinctively do. Like even if you're used to Lyco, that's quite different than being Lyco. Mm -hmm. um, so that was fun for me to sort of role play those interactions because he's very cognizant also of the fact that these may well have been stewards or at least people employed by them. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't want to shoot his own people mm -hmm. twice over, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a fun little thing for me, and I, I liked that I got to sort of role play that not quite conflict, he wasn't conflicted about what to do, it was like, right, this is a threat, this is, they're not, they're not standing down, we have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. But, I liked getting to roleplay the fact that he saw a non-violent way out of the threat, and he was hoping to see, he was, you know, hoping that... Yeah, because it, it is, it's a nice, like, sidestep from murder hoboism that you get in a lot of RP, where it's just... Yeah, but you know we were we rolled initiative, so uh, obviously it wouldn't end any other way. Cool. Yeah, yeah, which is good. Just when you started a fight doesn't mean it has to end with somebody getting their blain blains. Wow, getting their absolute calums blown out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just clicked um, there. I just clicked, clicked. I was like, ah, yeah. oh, yep. <laughs> yep. that was a fun little <laughs> mental typo. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Callum, when you hear this, uh, you're precious and you were missed. But also okay, the time, yeah. but yeah. Al but also the timeline was so happy this week. Yeah. Oof. Um, yeah, that was that was that was a fun little combat. Uh, it's nice to have a combat that just sort of went our way. Mm -hmm. um, Moth, go away! Why are you doing this? Um, I'm pretty much direct under a light, which will be why it's doing this. Um, yeah, it's a sh <laughs> it was it was kind of a shame not having Callum, but on the other hand, it did make things smoother for this session, being mm. sort of combat. So that wasn't the worst time for him to be an absent. Um, sp I, the, despite the my jokes, yeah, always missed. The split was perfect, though, right? Like the fact that he was separate from the three of you, and then he was the only one that couldn't make it this week. It was reasonable. It's like, yeah, we'll we'll keep going because we can get some progress done. <laughs> More the full me, eh? Um. <laughs> yeah, we did. We got, we, yeah, we, we did. We racked up two more bodies. Uh, Not only that, though, but the goals seem like within scope, right? As and then goal five is just something else. But yeah, that's Callum can unpick the madness of that when his brain works. Um, anything else you like, Dad? Like, go. Um. Yeah, so the little bit of the little bit of the tease there at the end with the new combat starting with the grey, mm. uh, that that's exciting. Mm. Um, I know I, I know I said it in the session. I don't know if it's literally true, but it does feel like that was a little thing for me because um, as some of the listeners at home may have twigged if they've listened this far, uh, and, and I, I am so sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of like I, I I love like esoteria and weird shit and and whatever you want to call it. I like I I, I love all that stuff. I'm very very much a skeptic of virtually everything. Um, I think I'm pretty skeptical. Um, I'm I'm probably by design. I think I could call myself a pretty much like died in the wool kind of like fucking. You let 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 me put it this way. I've read a fair bit of Hitchens over the years, right? Um, and not that one. Not that one. Um, and, you know, so for, for me, like, scepticism was something I sort of, like, 
was drilled into me in my teens and I sort of really got into it. And But now it's something I take a lot less seriously. But I've always been interested in these things. And I do think there are all sorts of really unpleasant things that go on in that sort of undercurrent of society. But it's fascinating. And the greys are this really interesting thing in UFO lore. And how they connect into older mythology and uh, how people have argued that they're literally elves. Uh, a number of fantasy and sci-fi settings have sort of done that. Obviously this setting doesn't because elves exist in it and they're not greys. Um, <laughs> elves but, not grey, yeah. Yeah, there's also <laughs> like drow though. Drow, drow. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's just like... It's, it's a lovely thing for me to get included. Like, greys are like... They are one of the, the, the big things. It's like... It's like if you got like a modern day sort of urban fantasy thing and you were out in the Pacific Northwest, you know, you can you want to see Bigfoot. Well, if you're in space and something like this, you, you want you want the greys, right? They might not be the most sensible design of what an alien might look like. Uh, they might not be nearly as cool looking as a lot of fantasy races, but they're they're iconic and they're interesting and they're sinister and you don't know anything about them and yeah uh, uh, so I was excited for that um, I'm intrigued also about the blood thing so yeah yeah excited for next session good I'm pleased I'm glad that uh, it doesn't just seem like you walk onto a map to do some combat I'm glad you you feel like there's uh, a bunch going on good Good. So, um, yeah, guys, it's going to be uh, until next time. Then, thank you all for playing, and uh, how dare you, Callum? Basically. Yeah. yeah. How dare you? you. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. What would your mother say? <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs>